All right, so the campaigning by the candidates is just about over. We're almost there, and the final votes are about to be cast. Then we wait for the results to come in. And what that might look like, Steyerwalt is here to break it all down. Chris? So everybody wants to know, how, what do they need? How, what, what volume of snacks yep. or hard liquor or whatever <laughs> they're going to need to right, get right, through right. Yep. your election night, election week, whatever? Uh, so let's do this. Let's just do it by poll close. Now, I love you, Indiana. And we're going to get a little early sample in Indiana, but they got weird time zone issues. Yep. What are we looking at? We're looking at, at Georgia mm -hmm. is the first to come in. 7 p.m., polls close in Georgia. Where am I looking? I'm looking in exurban Atlanta at Forsyth County. Okay. Those are Trump voters, and we're going to get a good sample on. There are a lot of these are more affluent Trump voters. Okay. Uh, we're going to see, can he really ring the bell there? And that'll be the first place that I'm looking. All right, okay. 7 East. So that's 7 Eastern. Let's go to 8 East. 7 Third. No, you got oh, to go to 7 30. What are you talking about? Why are you, why are you so sorry. against North Carolina? <laughs> North Carolina. Watch Nash County. Working class Nash County. This is a lot of rural, a lot of non-college, mm -hmm. uh, very middle of the middle class right here. Also significant, substantial African-American population, about 40% African-American, 40, 45% African-American. Are black voters turning out for Kamala Harris? We'll get a real good core sample there. Okay. Go to 8 o'clock. All right, there we go. What happens at 8? Get big. Get big. <laughs> Here is where the floodgates open and everything starts to come in at 8 o'clock. Now, thanks to Georgia and North Carolina being efficient counting states. Mwah, we love you. They will, will have lots of vote in that will help us start to look at these forecasts and make these projections. Okay. That's going to come in. But what do you see in gold right there, the Keystone State? And obviously, we all know where to look in Pennsylvania, Erie County, which has the, been the bellwether in the past yep. two cycles for Pennsylvania, down to the percentage point. 9 o'clock, okay. what happens at 9 p.m.? Okay, we move west, one click, 9 p.m. Eastern, and now we get these three counties around Detroit right. that are going to tell us so much about how that's going. And then we'll also be looking out in western Michigan, telling that Donald Trump is heading back to west Michigan, mm -hmm. and he's going back to Grand Rapids. Kent County has been a great bellwether for how Michigan's going to vote. Third time that Donald Trump, uh, all I mean, every single time, Chris, he's run a presidential race, he's ended there in Kent County, Michigan, in Grand Rapids. I know, and those are the Gerald Ford squishy Republicans. Those are the old, fa <laughs> those are the old fashioned Nikki Haleyites, and the, those are the folks that he's got to win over. All right, Steyerwalt breaks it down. Thank you, sir. Um, we still don't know when we're going to have a sense of all of this, right? But I at least told you. No, I mean, but a final win. <laughs> 233, 233. Okay, Chris is, Chris is over <laughs> under. 233 a.m. There you go. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.